All right, hey everybody, welcome to Driven Hard. My name is Omeka, and in today's little video, I am going to walk you through what my spec would be for the all new 2022 Range Rover, the full size. And so, let me walk you through and talk about the different options and why I would do this. So this would be a great video for anyone who's considering buying a Range Rover or, um, well, no, honestly, it would be great for anyone considering buying a Range Rover. So let's dive through it. I've had my 2019 Range Rover Sport since brand new from 2019. Um, absolutely love it. 104,000 kilometers on it. And um, yes, in like three years, I've done that amount. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked about the next gen. That's the one I'm looking at. But let's imagine for a second we are buying the full-size Range Rover. What would be the spec? So I'm on the American site, and let's explore this vehicle. So I am from Canada, but I'm doing the American site because I know most of my viewers are American. So we'll just do it with American dollars and everything. Um, and where do we go to build? Keep exploring, keep exploring, keep exploring. Maybe I should have done it on the Canadian site because I know where the build button is. Build your own. Right there. This video is off to a great start. Okay, build your own. Let's do it. Let's imagine we are in a world where semiconductors are not short. So, okay. So first thing, what, are, what, what model are we gonna pick? And I'm going based on what my current use would be. So it'd be off-road use, um, trips across the country, family use, Starbucks runs, um, music classes, your typical everyday family vehicle. Now, let's do this. Now, keep in mind, I've done this, I think, once when it first came out, but they've added some options and things you can do. So um, this will be kind of a, a new walkthrough for me. Um, first off, are we doing standard or long wheelbase? Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing standard, standard wheelbase. I don't need uh, the long wheelbase. As baller as that would be, uh, we just wouldn't use it. Also off-road, that would suck. So we're gonna do the standard wheelbase. Okay, models. So, um, uh, so this is really between the two. You have your basic, your base one here, um, which is $104,000. Then you have your autobiography, which jumps up to $157,000. Now, what's really, really cool is this is, and this was the biggest thing I hated with my sport, was you see they are, it looks like Land Rover USA finally got there together, and they are now able to offer Pixel LED headlights. Before, you can only get the premium LED signature, or premium LED headlights, which suck. Uh, only Europe um, and Mexico and places gave the good matrix or the pixel LED. So it looks like we're going to be getting those. So that's pretty cool. Um, so autobiography, um, first edition. I am not a fan of first editions or the SV. Now, it's between the autobiography and the SV. I don't know. That's a difference of what? Um, it's of $36,000. Divide that over... Um, let's say a 36 month lease, it's a thousand dollars a month difference, right? Um, now, what are you getting in addition to the autobiography that you get in the SV? Um, well, all the branded stuff, but I believe, how do I look at a little bit more? Okay, here. So, what else are you going to be getting? You're going to be getting. Um, so wheels, we don't care about those. Um, so, so it looks like you get the standard 24, 24 way. Nope. You get those here as well. Honestly, is it, is it all just like cosmetic and a few additional, like I bought the most expensive one? because I don't think they're doing increased power for this one yet. I don't think so. So it looks like it's just flashy stuff. For an extra $1,000 a month, would I do that? 
Um, honestly, I think we'll have to go through and build them and see what the seating options are. Um, or the interior options, because that was one of the reasons I went with the, I bumped it up to the V8 versus I wanted the diesel. And then I saw that the seats, the interior option for the diesel suck and they're all ugly. And in order to get custom, in order to get dual color and stuff like that, you got to buy a higher end one. So honestly, right now looking at like looking at the two. Can I make these bigger? Looking at the two, like it does kind of look more badass. Hmm. I don't know. SV. I don't know. I. You know what? Oh, no, part of me just wants to go with with this one. Okay, I'll just go with this one. We'll do the SV. I don't, I don't know if the wife would approve of that. She probably would, but... Okay, one engine choice right now. That just seems like a lot of money. Right? 193 grand? That's American. Jeez, that's like 230, 240 Canadian Monopoly money. Um, okay. So, these are all the packs. So, yes... I'm select. I'm selecting that. Okay, so now we're going through. Did I screw something up? No, I don't think so. All right. Continue my build. All right. Okay. So now, SV Intrepid Exterior. So Range Rover Script and Two Tone Graphic Atlas. Let's see what that looks like. With what is that gloss? Okay, gloss around. Oh, come on. Their site's glitching. Or it's maybe it's not supposed to show a picture. Metal plate around two-piece. Like, hopefully it changes the photo. Okay. Okay, cool. So look at that. Uh, eh. For $1,800, does it look? Unlocks a suite of exclusive designer choice recommendations and options. I don't know. SV Serenity exterior. Let's see. Nope. Definitely don't want that. Hmm. So it's either not none or this one. Um. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the color first, and then we'll go back and check that out because I know what color I'm doing. I'm doing British Racing Green in gloss. Okay. Oh, that looks so badass. Look at that. Oh, my God. I do want to see what this looks like. Oh, oh my God. That looks sick, dude. Look at that. Jesus. Oh, my God. That looks so crazy. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's Sunday afternoon. Relax. I'm in Mexico. That looks awesome. Damn. That looks so bad. I don't like red on the big ones. That's an orange, though. That looks okay, but I don't know. But, oh, man, that blue? Just, like, boom, in your face. But I think I'm going to go with the racing green. Because, one, there's probably going to be, like, two or three other people who do it. Versus, right, some of the other ones. Um, so, I really like that. Now, let's go back to the theme and remove it. And see, ugh. okay, see, this was really key, right? Because now, like, that's way too much chromish in my face. I would not want to see that. I'd want something like this. Or do I want this now? No. Mm. Something's not sitting right, though. I don't know. We'll see if we can play around with anything. Ooh, visual packs. Here you go. SV accents. Okay, the this is what I was playing with before, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Wheels. So you can't get twenties. 
I would just choose twenties because that's what I'm going to. Um, I'm going to run with some all terrains. Um, so I would probably. Those are basically the ones I had on the range over. I think these ones. Um, on the sport. Probably do these. Obviously going for the full size spare because off roading. Um, I don't do red calipers because everybody does them and I hate doing things everybody does. And wow, five hundred dollars. Okay. So next step. So black contrast roof, sliding panorama panoramic roof, obviously. Uh, I like having my sunroof open. And we do want the black contrast because, um, or I don't know, body colored roof. No, I like the black, right? Towing. So here's, a, here's something. So I didn't realize, but if you have the tow hitch receiver, I believe this doubles as a uh, recovery point. Um, so I'm going to actually add that. I don't think I need this because we don't tow. But that was something that I got in the learned after the fact. I didn't go with the towing option. So let's move to the interior. Okay, and now that I'm thinking about this, my philosophy with a lot of things is it's either go big or go home, right? With my sport, I got the autobiography because I was looking at the diesel option, but you couldn't get a high-end one with that diesel engine. And with, with the full-size Ranger, I think it's the same deal, like go big or go home, and I get it. There's budget restrictions or whatever the case is, but um, I was just going back. It's like, sh should I go back to the autobiography and just do that? But it's like, no, this is a full size Range Rover. This is the beast of the beast, right? Like, um, go big. So, right? You can cry about it at the bank later. Um, so, what is this? SV Intrepid Interior. Okay, I'm just going to click and hopefully stuff changes. Like for this stuff, I'm a visual person, so I need to see it change. And then go back. So we're definitely not doing that one. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe let's remove any. Steering wheels. So one thing I definitely want is the wood steering wheel. The wooden leather. Like that's definitely. Okay. Let's do seating. Okay. So seating. No, not that one because that. Was that the one I like? Yeah, I think so. Because basically the way I want to design this is it's going to be huh. Um what happened to my seating? It's going to be okay, let's read additional changes made. Added caraway headliner, leather headlining, carpet, removed ebony carpet, whatever. Um, it's going to be a mobile forest, right? So we have the green on the inside. We have the brown on the 
or the green on the outside, the brown on the inside. Okay. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to do black, I'll tell you that. I do kind of like that. That does kind of look a little boss. Carpet. You know why? Why are the why are those seats a different color? I guess it's just the color that they're okay. Um, I don't really care for carpet, and that's something I'd probably have to go see and feel at the dealership. Okay, options. Okay, so emergency pack. No, those are always a rip off. Just go buy your own from St. John's Ambulance. Um, Premium interior protection pack and storage pack. Anti-microbial rubber mats, standard wheelbase. I do love the rubber mats, $650, so. but I do love rubber mats. Wheel protection, locking wheel bolts. Yes, I do like that. $200, huh? Additional changes. Seems a rip off. Fixed side steps. Yeah, so I can rip those off. Deployable side steps. Yeah, so I can rip those off. $4,200. No. My thing is, if you can't get into the car, you don't get to go in the car. So, mud flaps. I'm going to add those. But I'm probably going to have to see those in the picture. But I would like that. Heated windshield, obviously. I live in Canada. Laminated front and rear side glass. Yes, because that sounds cool. And there's no cost to it. Ah, oh, acoustic glass. 100%. Love it. Okay. Event tailgate seating with leather cushions. Obviously. Cargo space. Per yes. And why would you buy a $100 net? Because the net fits. Versus the $30 net you can buy off Amazon. It won't fit correctly. I've done this game already. Just buy the net from Land Rover. It'll fit. First aid kit. No. Finish my build. Okay. Oh, look how... No. What, what, what changed on the exterior? Right? Nope. Nope. Shoot. Okay. I think I made a seating change, but it's not going to. I don't think it'll affect anything. Okay. Look at that. Like, that's pretty badass. I don't know. Something's just not clicking on the front. All right, let's fix that interior. Oh, yeah, this would be sick. Hmm? But look at that. It did it again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. That's strange. Anyways, at a $207,000, that's American. So that's like, two oh seven, two sixty Canadian. Oh my God. I don't know. 260 for a Range Rover. Canadian, I think it might be borderline too much money. That alone might get me going to the autobiography just because that's just ridiculous in, in all honesty. Um, and, you know, obviously looking at 207 versus whatever the 
Um, you know, I bet it's probably 180 specking the autobiography like this. I might just do that for fun, right? Specking autobiography. Because now I'm kind of curious. Start new build. Okay. Standard. Autobiography. Okay. All right. So that's just what 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 it's it's coming with, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna do the same same thing. Forty five hundred dollars for paint. I'm gonna destroy. You know that. Ooh, satin finish. No, I like gloss. Okay, visual packs. So, okay, let's look at these exterior packs. No. Shadow. See, I kind of like that. Wheels. Mm, once again, we're stuck with large wheels. We do need a full-size spare. I'll leave those wheels. I like them. Roof. Sliding panoramic. Good, good, good. Towing. We'll add the hitch again. Okay. And then... Okay, so... Okay, look at that. So we definitely want... With the executive class comfort plus rear seats. So the comfort, like the executive class sitting for the kids, like do I want to spend $3,800 for the kids who are still like, ha like Julia's in a booster seat, Raph's still in a car seat. So that would just be a waste of money. Um, so how do you... Executive class. Oh, but if you want the if you want the hot stone massage, which is just cool to have. Okay. Well, it is what it is. So what's the difference between this one? Hot and cool, hot stone massage. Electric front seats with the executive class comfort plus rear seats. Comfort plus. What's comfort plus? <sighs> Damn. No pillow pack. Hmm. Four grand for pillow packs. Cap. Cap. Head headlining. All right. Two stoke. Yeah. In here, I'll leave the slightly lighter one. There we go. Look at that steering wheel. Okay, and then all the ones I did before. Badge, no. Okay, let's see what this is. 207. Oh man. See, way more comfortable with that. I think it even looks better in this one. So yeah, this would be it. Yeah, I like this one way better. Way nicer. I do wish we had two tone seats though. Maybe I just wanted a little fast. I but yeah. But no, that's cool. This is it. This this would be my build. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What do you think? God, I can't wait for the next sport. So anyways, drop me a comment. What is your dream Range Rover build? I would love to know. 
do you want to drive a forest green on the outside brown on the inside if you do hit me up because you and me we are alike till next time everybody let me know what you are driving hard